Hello, my name's Ron Gusick. I'm the president here at Liberty Oil Field Services. I'm going to spend a little time talking with you today about a new technology we're working to develop in partnership with a company by the name of Energy Recovery. That technology is called Vortec. Could be a big game changer in the whole world of pressure pumping. So what you're looking at here is a picture of one of the frack pumps on a fleet that I started work with oh, a little more than 20 years ago. While our pumps look a little bit different than this one today, what I really want to focus on is the piece at the back. You can see circled with a blue circle there, the actual pump, the, the business end of the unit. And while that's an that's a older triplex pump, maybe a little smaller horsepower than we use in the field today, fundamentally the technology that makes up that pump is not meaningfully different than the technology we use in a pump today. Now, if you look at the data on the right hand side, what I want to illustrate is just how much our industry has changed relative to the technology we have out there doing the work. And particularly you want to draw your attention to the thick black line that starts climbing dramatically in 2007. That's the line that points to the slick water type jobs that we're doing. Now what does that mean when I talk about a slick water job and its impact on the equipment we use. When I started fracking, uh, we did a couple of stages a day. That was a pretty big day. The crew was usually rigged out by shortly after lunch and we were on our way back to the yard. We were using very thick fluids uh, that carried the propin and that ultimately meant that the equipment we were using was pretty well protected. Today, however, we're working a significant number of hours a day, in many cases pumping upwards of 20 hours in a single 24 hour period. And we have migrated to using a different fluid system for much of the work that we do. That's a much thinner fluid and as a result it means that the propent that we're carrying is far more abrasive in the equipment. The picture on the right is a picture of our scrap metal bin after just one pad with one of our frack fleets. And all of those little yellow circles that you can see in that picture are valves and the other rusty components next to them, the seats that go with those valves. What you can see there is that we went through a tremendous number of those. The type of work that we are doing and the fluid that we are using today is incredibly hard on our pumps, particularly the valves, the seats, and the fluid ends themselves. Ultimately what that leads to is a significant increase in R&M costs and ultimately a reduction in the efficiency of our, our operations, the number of hours we're able to pump in a day because of the amount of maintenance that has to take place on a pump. And so for many years, and I'd say for more than 10 years in my career now, I've been looking for a solution to this very problem. That solution came in the form of a partnership with energy recovery and this idea of, of the Vortec. Now the technology for Vortec actually has its roots in the desalination business. It's a technology that's been used there widely for transfer of energy from one fluid stream to another fluid stream. I'm going to show you a little video here that gives you a bit of a sense of how that technology works. Now the idea here is that we can take energy from one stream of fluid and transfer that energy directly to another stream of fluid. That means that we, we, we have a choice about what kind of fluid we now put through our pumps. And so in the case of hydraulic fracturing, the goal is to remove the propent laden fluid from the pumps to only pump clean water with the idea that that significantly reduces the wear and tear. And what you can see in the video here is that we have a rotating cartridge as that cartridge rotates, a cylinder is filled up with low pressure fluid carrying propent. It rotates further and is subsequently exposed to high pressure fluid, clean fluid, that comes from the pumps. That energy is transferred from one fluid stream to the other stream, enabling us to use high pressure water from a pump to uh, pressurize a stream of slurry or water with sand in it without that slurry stream ever having passed through the pumps. You can appreciate that given the maintenance problems I talked about, that could make a tremendous difference from an operational standpoint. So what is the pressure exchanger made from that allows it to withstand the abrasion that, that comes from the type of fluid that we pump? Made from tungsten carbide, highly abrasion resist resistant, structurally very, very strong and incredibly stiff material. There are no bearings, there are no valves, there are no other moving parts with the exception of a rotor in here. That allows us to, uh, to keep the wear and tear on this to a minimum and of course by virtue of the material it's made out of significantly reduce the maintenance that might be required. Now Vortec is still under development today 
and still so not a commercial technology that we've deployed to the field yet. But we hope that if we are able to get this across the finish line, we will see a dramatic change in operations in the field. How, how dramatic could those changes be? This study looked at um, the cost or, or number of consumable parts that were, that were used over a month when comparing two pumps. One pump that only pumped water and another pump that saw the traditional slurry that we would pump. And so what you can see here is that particularly on the consumption of valves, there was a dramatic drop. 61 valves in the pump that was pumping sand and water together, only two valves over that same time period in the pump that was only pumping water. And so we feel that if we're able to commercialize the VOR te technology with, together with energy recovery, we could see a huge change in our operational efficiency out in the field. Of course, that comes with some other benefits as well. Less redundant equipment on location, significantly improved safety conditions, simply by virtue of not having to do all that maintenance on the pumps, and ultimately, maybe further down the road, the opportunity to use a completely different pump than we use today. It could be that just a few years from now, if you were to go out to a frac location, you would see a location that looks nothing like one today. And that's an opportunity we're extremely excited about. For more information on this or any of the other wonderful things going on at Liberty, certainly visit our website at www.libertyfrac.com. Thanks very much.